Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just doing a really quick review of the Bleach London Violet Skies dye. This is the rosé bottle but I've used the Violet Skies bottle and it's now in the bin covered in dye. But it's this brand, it's this size bottle and this was the result. It's a lilac, very pale purple colour and I absolutely love it. It's um, almost silvery in places because um, I toned the blonde before I used it and so all of the pieces that haven't taken just for whatever reason have gone a really nice silvery colour and I just think this is so perfect for autumn and winter and I'm absolutely in love with it. I feel like a mermaid and I'm so excited, yay! So I thought that I would just talk you through how I applied it and um, then I will say what I thought about it and you can see how it turned out. So I ordered mine from the Boots website two days ago and it shipped really quickly so I was really impressed with that. Um, I ordered the Violet Skies and the Rosé because I've tried Rosé before and it's my first love. I do dye my hair pastel pink sometimes but I thought I wanted to try something a little bit different and I've been falling in love with pastel lilac and lavender tones in hair so I really wanted to give that a go so I did. They're £5 each and they're 150 ml millilitres <laughs> in each bottle and that's enough for a full coverage on my hair so quite long and thickish um, hair one bottle will get you sorted so I got home and I jumped in the shower and I use a purple shampoo to tone my hair first of all and I thought that's the one I'm going to use to wash your hair you have to apply the bleach to clean towel dried damp hair so I use my it's for old people actually, it's one of those old lady shampoos <laughs> and uh, it's bright bright purple, it's really really intensely pigmented and it's a violet toner so when I got out of the shower my hair was like grey and it all, it already had like some violet tones to it then I towel dried my hair, brushed it all through and I know that's really bad for you, you shouldn't brush your hair when it's wet but if I wanted to get the dye everywhere and I had to brush it <laughs> so I took the dye on my hands, in hindsight I probably should have worn gloves <laughs> And I started from the middle and worked my way through all the layers. So pinning my hair up like that and doing this bit and then pinning it up and doing the underneath. I left it on for a, a quite a lot longer than I should have done actually, but that's only because my shower decided it wasn't going to turn on. It kept turning it on and it kept turning back off. Um, so I left it on for about 25 minutes in total and the bottle says leave it on for 15 minutes. Anyway, I rinsed it all off, um, I just rinsed it off until the water ran clear and it didn't feel like there was any product left in there. Jumped out, towel dry my hair, applied this baby, which is the Tresemme Platinum Strength Renewing Complex Stay Soft Leave In thing. And um, I just picked that up today running through Superdrug because I needed something to sort of make my hair feel a bit softer, it's been feeling a little bit dead recently and I thought since I'm dyeing it I want to give it some TLC and other than that I didn't put any sort of conditioner on it at all during the process the directions don't tell you to and I don't want to do anything that's going to make the colour run out my hair feels really really soft, um, I'm not sure whether that's the dye putting something back into my hair because I just washed it with shampoo and you know that always makes your hair feel quite dry and horrible but yes in terms of colour payoff I'm really really pleased with it it's this really gorgeous pale ashy lilac colour and it's just I'd, I'd al I almost want to say subtle and I know it's not quite subtle but it is just beautiful it's so much better than my average pale blonde I really love how this looks and I'm so pleased with it for five pounds I mean it's incredible for five pounds and this should last between two and ten washes depending on the colour intensity and I have some purple shampoo that I'm going to use to help me keep the colour in a bit longer I'm going to order a couple more of those because I don't have any violet skies left and I, I'm wanting to keep this up I definitely want to top this up when it starts to fade I'm going to minimise the amount I wash my hair just to keep the colour in better and I've got some dry shampoo that I can use and all in all I am just so 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 pleased with how it's turned out and I really hope you like it as much as I like it I'm so happy with the results I can't even believe it I'd say I definitely like this more than the rosé I'd say I really like how it looks and it's just so perfect for winter and now the weather's getting a bit cooler I just think it's gonna look amazing so thank you for watching my very rambly and excited video I really hope you enjoyed it as always, you can leave me a comment down below, you can contact me via Instagram or Twitter or my blog. 
Um, the links have been in the bottom corner for this video, I hope. <laughs> the music I've used in this video is my incredibly talented boyfriend's band, they're called Tiny Fods, they're based in the southwest and they're incredible and I love them <laughs> and I hope you love them too. So yes, this is my review of Bleach London Violet Skies. Obviously I'm converted, obviously I love it. I'm so excited! <laughs> and there'll be lots of reviews going up on it on my blog, makeup tutorials to go with pastel pink hair, pastel purple hair, etc. So definitely go and check those out if that's your thing. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!